Hi guys, V8 Hooligan here. Welcome to a new video. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, like and subscribe. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what I wish I knew before I got my MagnaFlow exhaust. So one of the things that I wish I knew about the MagnaFlow exhaust system is that when you do get them and it's installed, it seems very quiet because there's packing material and fill that is inside there which you can hear the difference because there's a lot of debate about having your MagnaFlow muffler versus your Flowmaster muffler. Flowmaster muffler has that tinny metallic sound that people talk about. I didn't notice that until somebody mentioned it in one of the comments. So one of the things that causes this is when you look at the difference between the MagnaFlow muffler, I'll throw up a picture, it has a steel mesh and the fiberglass fill in there, which is going to reduce the initial loudness. Now you look at a Flowmaster, it's empty and it has these bafflings in there. So the emptiness is what's going to be causing this metallic sound because of the sound waves are going to be bouncing around in there. Whereas the MagnaFlow has the fill and the packing so it's going to deaden that sound. Now when it starts burning out, that's when it gets louder. So that's one of the main things I wish I knew about MagnaFlow, that it's going to be quiet when you first throw it on there. All the videos you see online, I haven't heard anybody mention that. So that's something that you need to be aware of. Your MagnaFlow when you first throw it on is going to be quiet. Now I have the resonator still in place. I haven't chopped that off yet. I'm waiting until the weather warms up to see if it makes a difference. Because I've had it on for four months and you can see the progression. You can watch the four week startup which I'll throw in the comments down below and then it's also going to be the end card and then you can also see the four month update I'll put that in the comments below and the end card as well so you can see the difference in progression so that's one of the main things I wish I knew before I got my MagnaFlow that it's going to be quiet for a while and it needs to have time to start getting louder now, with that being said, I wish that I knew, this is my own fault, but I wish that I knew that you don't need to get a certain offset of the muffler because there's a flex pipe in the front and you can, you know, move your pipe left and right. So I got a specific one that is driver side inlet and then center on the outlet because that's the way my stock exhaust was set up. So that's another thing I wish I knew that it doesn't matter what inlet outlet is on there because your pipe will move. Another thing I wish I knew about the MagnaFlow which again is my own fault but I'm just making this video to share things that I wish I knew is that there's the this kind of a muffler here and then there's this racing kind like this this tube kind here so now I wish I did go with this tube kind but you know it is what it is I have what I have now and it does sound good there's just a couple things that I wish I knew beforehand and the question would be would I do this all over again Yes, I, I would do it again for sure. Would I choose something different knowing what I know now? Yes, I would have chosen something that's a little bit more obnoxious. We have these 2015s, there's a lot of sound deadening on the cab and it's insulated very well. So you don't even really hear much outside noise. I mean, you can hear my Dura tracks outside on the pavement, that's louder than the exhaust. 
So that's one of the main things that I probably do differently is find something a little bit more obnoxious because the sound is deadened in here so you don't really hear it. So overall, I do love the sound of the Magnum Flow that I have on the my truck right now. And would I go with something different? I think right now it's good as it is. And what I mean by that is having a family, you know, you don't want the kids to be annoyed with loud exhaust if that's something that they don't enjoy. At least with the Magnum Flow, it's got enough where it satisfies that that sound that satisfaction that guys hear when you hear a good exhaust you're like oh and it gives you that tingle that excitement that like if you're a guy you know what i mean you hear that sound or, Whoom, you're like oh that it satisfies that and at the same time it's not too loud where it's gonna annoy the heck out of your kids and your wife and you know, it turns heads. People who hear it when you're accelerating, I'll take a quick look and glance to see, you know, what kind of, what car or what truck it is that's making that sound. So, yes, I do wish it was louder, but it's good for right now. So that's what I love about my MagnaFlow. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Who about to break your neck with a made away? Who that is with the hoodie with the blank face? Boy, running shit like a scrimmage.